Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to the next video in our series, Analyzing Public Datasets, Performing in Alignment. In our last video, we uploaded a FASTQ file containing next-generation sequencing data from a RICE experiment, and then we groomed that data in the form it'll be needed for the alignment. Now we need a cDNA database to align this to. Because finding a cDNA database would be very specific to the experiment and the organism at hand, I've just gone ahead and bookmarked the one we need. This is at an FTP server at the University of Michigan. And you can see any number of files here associated with this data set. And you could download all the exons, for example, or the intergenic sequences. But we're interested in all cDNA. This is the annotated cDNA database. Uh, we could click on this and look at it, but that will crash some browsers because the file is so large. Instead, we're going to right-click and say Copy Link Location. Because this time, we're not going to save the file to our computer. We're going to transfer it directly to Galaxy. So say Copy Link Location go back to Galaxy and we're going here on the left to the get data and upload file from your computer. Here we are. We'll go ahead and paste in that FTP and we let it rip. And you can see here that the job's been queued and we'll come back when it's finished. And that took only a few minutes and now we're ready for an alignment. So we're going to scroll down here on the left under our next generation sequencing. And we're going to go to next generation sequencing mapping. Click there. And we're interested in this one. Map with BWA, the Burroughs Wheeler alignment. Open that up. And the first option we have is to use a built-in index or a reference genome from our history. And so we want to use a reference genome from our history. That's this cDNA database we just uploaded. So we click on Use One from the History. And it automatically finds that. And this three, this number three, refers to this number three, this object in your history. The library is single impaired. And it also automatically found the groomed FASTQ file. Down here is the BWA settings box. And if we click on this to the full parameter list, this is where you can change all of the alignment parameters, um, mismatch penalties, etc. We're not going to do that right now. We're just going to go ahead and use the most commonly used settings, the default settings for our alignment. So we click on Execute, and we'll be back when the alignment is done. And we're finished. That took about 15 minutes. So we can go ahead using the eye icon here and take a look at the alignment. Looks good. In the next video, we're going to go through in detail what this alignment means and how to interpret, as well as some other analyses that you can perform on this alignment. Until then, thanks for watching, and see you then.